months ago! <laughs> Nintendo and Sega, why don't you guys learn to stop freaking making freaking games for the freaking Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Series? It's me so freaking mad! It's the same repetitive garbage all over Just like Call of Duty! I mean, seriously, what the frick? I mean, seriously, I'm going to do a rant on Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games. I mean, what the frick? I mean, why are they still continuing to make games for this series? I mean, they've run out of ideas for this series. I mean, they just need to beat this series! Hasta la vista! Alright, guys! I mean, seriously, what the frick? I mean, seriously, Nintendo and Sega, what are you ever going to learn that you, you can't do this to your consumers? You can't just release the same game over and over, expecting it to sell. Lightning can't strike twice! That only happens very occasionally! Super Mario Galaxy 2 is an example. But, guess what? That was a while This is 2013. And, of course, Nintendo started releasing games for the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series back in 2007, I mean 2007, with the original Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. And they figured, oh, since this game was such a success, why don't we just make a sequel? And Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games did feel like something new, because, I mean, of course, it was a new setting, completely new mini-games, everything about it was new. But, I'll tell you when the franchise started to go downhill. Mario and Sonic at the freaking 2012 London Olympic Games. Holy frick! I mean, what the frick? I mean, I mean, oh, I mean, come on, come on, Nintendo and Sega, I mean, seriously, I mean, why can't you just make one Mario and Sonic game per console, that way, it'll feel exciting each time, but no, instead, let's just, you know, freaking release a Mario and Sonic game every two freaking years. I mean, it was exciting at first because it was the first time we got a Mario and Sonic crossover game, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. But guess what? Now, now it just feels like we're back on repeat. I mean, even, even so, each game in the Mario and Sonic series felt somewhat new. Up until now, with Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games. It's the same thing as Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games from 2010. Oh, except what? A graphical upgrade? Seriously, Nintendo and Sega? I mean, seriously? Seriously? They expect us to buy this just because it's an HD? We are going to buy this game just because of a graphical upgrade. I mean, seriously. Oh, nice strategy, Nintendo and, and Sega. Oh, applaud! Applaud! What the frick? I mean, this is freaking stupid. I mean, seriously? What the frick? It's just freaking dumb. And then, oh, and guess what? That's not at all. I mean, all of the mini games are the exact same. I mean, sure, there are, like, very few new mini games, such as 
biathlon, triathlon, pair figure skating, slope snowboarding, but all those mini games are just iterations of mini games from the past. And you know what the frick? This game, this game is just a lazy, cheap, half-baked port. And you can even tell from the trailer. I mean, they didn't even include any CGI! I mean, what the frick? Because, I mean, seriously? You're too lazy to add CGI like you do with the previous games? I mean, seriously, what the frick? I mean, that just proves how lazy Nintendo and Sega are being with this game. They're too lazy to add any new minigames, too lazy to add any new characters, and they're even too lazy to add CGI. What the frick? Oh, that, that reminds me, the characters. Yeah, they're not adding any new characters because they claim, Oh, our character roster is too large, so we're just going to keep it the way it is. Why don't you just cut out the characters that people don't freaking like? Like, I don't know, maybe Blaze the Cat, Vector the Crocodile, let's see, Silver the Hedgehog? I mean, seriously, what the frick? I mean, seriously, nobody wants this! And why don't you add characters like, I know, Fang the Sniper slash Knack the Weasel, Espio, Mighty the Armadillo. Let's see, what else? What else? Being the Dynamite. No, I go on! Or even Honey the Cat, which was reintroduced in Sonic the Fighters HD. I mean, seriously. I mean, nobody wants this! People want to see the retro Sonic characters. Why? Because who r rivaled with Mario? Classic Sonic! Modern Sonic did it. He only did for a few years. Then, um, he, then Sega became a third party company. So, I mean, why not just, I don't know, freaking, just freaking add some of the retro characters and maybe give the characters the, the retro classic designs because the, because Retro Sonic rivaled with Mario! I mean, what the frick? Okay, I mean, seriously. Oh, oh. And Nintendo and Sega claim that, oh, every mini game is going to feel different because you play it with the gamepad and that's why it's different. Sure, the mini games play differently, but they're still the freaking same! <laughs> I mean, seriously, what the frick? Alright, we have Mario Party! 3DS coming out this year in November, and guess what? I would much rather purchase that than Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games. I mean, what the frick? I mean, seriously. At least Mario Party 3DS is going to have all new mini games, not just three or four. I mean, seriously, what the frick? Oh yeah, and Mario Party 3DS is, of course, going to have is going to be a board game style party video game. So Mario Party series just just has more appeal than the Mario and Sonic series. I mean, the Mario and Sonic series. Nintendo needs to learn that Thunder can't strike twice. Or four times. Wanna know why? Because, I mean, it was exciting at first to see Mario and Sonic crossover, but now the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series just feels like a freaking cash cow! <laughs> and overall, I am not looking forward to Mario and Sonic 
at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Alright guys, I mean Nintendo, give us a true Mario Sonic crossover. Give us something worth being excited for. Like a Mario and Sonic crossover RPG or Mario and Sonic crossover platformer, which is even better. Not the same repetitive Olympic Games freaking garbage. I mean, what the frick? It's freaking points. Alright, guys. Stop the laziness! <sighs> this is Multi Mario Sonic signing out.